up? Welcome back to my channel. So I am back today with a Valentine's Day glam and I am so in love with this particular makeup look because it's everything I wanted in one. I wanted something that was sparkly but not too sparkly. I wanted something that was neutral but not basic. I wanted something that was sexy but not like crazy sexy and I think this is the perfect balance. I am so obsessed with the way this look turned out and I, I'm so in love with it. It's, it's very girly, very romantic and it's kind of wearable because you know Valentine's Day in my opinion it's about simplicity and it's about love and I don't typically do a super dramatic crazy smoky eye for Valentine's Day. I like to keep it more on the romantic natural wearable side and I think this is exactly that. I did also use words that I put my palette. I did also, did I break it already? I did also use the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette for this particular look. Ever since I got this particular, particular, ever since I got this particular what is going on? Ever since I got this palette, I knew that I wanted to do a Valentine's Day inspired look just because I feel like this palette screams Valentine's Day and this is what it looks like in the inside. It has a cute little heart-shaped eyeshadows which, hello, Valentine's Day, love is in the air. So I just knew that I wanted to do a Valentine's Day tutorial with this particular palette so I have been saving it for this tutorial. So yeah, that is pretty much it. I am going to stop rambling and let you guys enjoy the video. Please don't forget to subscribe for more updates. I will be back on Friday with another video and that's it. So enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you guys very soon with another video. Bye! Alrighty you guys, let's get started. So you guys already know I love to prime my eyelids using a concealer. So I did take the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer to prime the lids and then I am going to be setting that concealer with any powder for today. I did go ahead and used the MAC Emphasize Shaping Powder. I'm going to take my first color from the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette and it is called Almond Truffle. And this is going to be our transition shade. I did apply about two to three layers of this particular shadow just because I really wanted it to be super pigmented. And I am taking it from inner corner all the way to the outer corner with a Sigma E40 blending brush. Then I'm going to go in a little bit darker and I'm going to take the eyeshadow in the shade mocha also from that palette and I'm going to apply this to my crease I'm using the Beauty by Rosita or Rosita Applebaum's brush that she curated and I'm going to pack this on my crease from inner corner to outer corner but I'm keeping it lower in the crease I'm not blending this color up too high I'm pretty much just concentrating it tighter on the crease then I'm going to take the eyeshadow in the shade melted no, I'm sorry, in the shade M Melted, 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 I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, but I am taking it with, this is a Luxie brush, and I'm mainly focusing the color in the outer corner, and then I'm blending it up to that crease just a little bit, but I am just mainly focusing the color in the outer corner just to add some more definition, and then I will go back in with that previous brush just to blend everything out to avoid any harsh edges. I'm going to take the matte white shade called Divinity from the palette, and I'm going to apply this to my brow bone, and this is just going to help us clean up those shadows and kind of blend everything, and this is also just going to make the look come together. I'm then going in with the eyeshadow called Bourdois also from that palette and as you guys can see again I am concentrating this color in the outer corners and I am going to be flicking it outwards just a little bit but I'm mainly focusing the color in the outer corner and I am going to also be bringing it in just a little bit but the main focus of this color is in the outer corner then I'm going to go ahead and take a makeup wipe and I'm just going to clean up any of the excess fallouts and then I'm also going to take this and clean out the outer edge the outer edge of my eyes and this is just going to give us a more precise 
crisp line and it's going to give us an elongated cat eye-ish type of look for the lid color i am taking the shade sprinkles it is the lightest shade from the palette and i did wet my brush with some fix plus just because i really wanted it to be really intense and i'm not applying it all over the lid i'm taking it halfway through the lid but then i thought that it I, I personally at first thought that it was going to be super pigmented, but it ended up not being as pigmented as I wanted it to be. So on top of that, I did apply Bubbly by ColourPop just to make it more sparkly. And then I went back in with that E25 that we used Bordeaux with just to kind of blend everything out so that it doesn't look really harsh. I did go ahead and apply some mascara and then we are going to be moving on to the skin. We will finish the eyes later. So I'm starting off by priming my skin with the pore professional primer and I'm applying that to my t-zone wherever I have my larger pores and then I'm going to go in with the NYX angel veil primer and I'm going to apply that all over my skin I did go ahead and take a concealer that has an orange base and I apply that under the eyes just to kind of correct a little bit because my dark circles are on fleek recently so for our foundation i did go ahead and take my cover effects cream foundation in g30 i'm first applying it with a brush and then once i have the foundation kind of buffed into the skin i like to go in with a damp sponge just to kind of blend everything in and to make sure that there's no streaking and that everything is perfectly blended and then i am going to really quickly fill in my brows i do have a brow tutorial that I always have linked down below in the description so make sure you go ahead and check that out so I did not notice my camera was not recording so I did apply some concealer to the under eyes forehead down the bridge of the nose and also in the chin and then I did set one eye at a time I went back in with the MAC emphasize powder and I did just set an eye at a time I feel like that's been working better when it comes to creasing by setting it as soon soon as I blend it out, I avoid a lot of creasing. So that is a great tip if you have very creasy under eyes. And then I go ahead and I blend it out the rest of the face once the under eyes were already set. Now to set the rest of the skin, I'm trying something new. This is by Ofra and I'm not really sure how I feel about it just yet. Um, I feel like it added a little bit of color and I wasn't too into that but i have to try it um a couple more times to really know how i feel about it so i am just taking this loose powder and i'm just applying it all over my skin just to set the foundation to bronze slash contour i am taking the makeup forever pro fusion bronzer in 35i and i'm just going to apply this to the hollows of the cheeks up in the forehead also a little bit down the bridge of the nose and this is just going to make us look a little bit more bronzy so i'm going to go in and use the becca shimmering skin perfector in rose gold as my highlight this is going to give us a little bit of color and it's also going to give us a beautiful glow and then I'm going to add a little bit of champagne pop to the highest point of the cheeks and this is just going to give us some extra glowy dewiness and I am dealing with some texture at the moment I'm having a reaction to a facial that I did on myself which I don't recommend you guys do go to a professional before you touch your face so I did go back in with the Ofra powder and I am going to apply this under that bronzer that we did just to kind of make everything look more crisp and just to kind of you know do a little bakish I did go ahead and apply some lashes these are the forever 21 lashes that I have been raving about that they are amazing I actually went back over the weekend and picked up some more because they are so good and so cheap so now moving on to the under eyes, I am starting off by just taking that mocha color with a pencil brush and then I took the two darkest shades and I applied that with a flat definer brush. I applied some black to my waterline and then I applied some mascara to the lower lashes. Moving on to lips, I am starting off by lining and filling in my lips with Aquarius Lippy Pencil by ColourPop in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. This is the most perfect 
perfect lip pencil ever I am so obsessed with it and then I'm going to go ahead and apply Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in milkshake and right on top of that I'm going to go ahead and apply it Reezy liquid lipstick by M Reezy in collaboration with lip land to create my perfect pink shade then I'm going to go ahead and set the skin using max fix plus I decided I wanted to add a little extra highlights to the inner corner so I did go in with a little bit of the Mary luminizer and that is pretty much it once you have done that you are done thank you so much for watching I love you and I'll see you guys very soon with another video bye